Hello everybody and welcome back to Europa where it's the start of a new recording session and uh, yeah this is going to be exciting isn't it? So we've got Makassar having a couple of fleets over here that could cause us a problem. These are transports, light ships, five heavy ships and three light ships. We have 29 light ships here. Malacca's big fleet here of one heavy ship six light ships and 25 transports which actually isn't that big of a fleet now that i think about it is currently moving towards here so here's the idea we bring in our light our light ship fleet and we try to clear out some of this and if this is all they've got like let's let's take a look at their navies let's see malacca they're the important ones here. They have two heavy ships, six light ships, 32 transports. Really, that's it? Okay. So they have one heavy ship somewhere that isn't here, along with one transport. This is their primary fleet. Okay. I have to assume that Makassar doesn't have any more than these 32. Is that correct? Wait, they have 24, according to this. Yeah, of course. 8 times 3 is 24. I can't multiply, apparently. And Brunei? What do they have? We don't actually see any of theirs. Let's take a look here. Brunei. What do you guys have? You have no ships at all? Okay. Fair enough? I feel like they had ships. But they don't. O o okay. <laughs> I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to take it. Okay, so. Let's see what these guys end up doing. Okay. So we have moved over to here. And I wanted to move away from there. But these guys are moving out and over to here. That's actually super good for us. Can we intercept them with this fleet, maybe? Can we win that fight? 1625. They're mostly transports, which aren't great fight fighters, but they are good tanks. But these guys are now locked into the Solomon Sea. And these guys all left. Okay. Hypothetically, what happens if we can knock Makassar out of this war? Like, what if we were to land here? And then we would bring our primary fleet in to cover this. They're already on their way to where we need them to be. We need to keep a close eye on fleet movements here. I mean, these guys do have a lot of tech on us, so if we can avoid fighting their fleet, that would be the, the ideal scenario. Let's just wait for our transports to catch up here. Where are these guys going? They're going to the Samoan Islands. Okay, so they're, like, trying to blockade our capital. That's fair enough. We don't have anything over there anyway. Wait, they had transports. Did they have any troops on that? I don't know that they did. I never saw any go on there. Okay. These guys are going into the Banda Sea. Wait. Was that turn 8? Yeah. Sea of... Okay, so they're going over here. What is this? A loan offer from Ayathaya. I will pass on that, thank you very much. We are losing money right now. And that's probably why they offered it. But that's okay. We're primarily losing money, I think, because of attrition. Horse population boom. Okay, whatever. Where are those... Where's that big fleet at? Yeah, they're just blockading our capital. Okay. As long as they're doing that, that's fine. These guys are just 
keeping a little busy over there. Let's move our fleet up so that we can help defend this. Manufactories are a thing now, of course. And let's make this landing. So if we can take this, then our next step would be to attack Brunei. We made it on. Would you look at that? Let's head over here. And we'll just be ready to attack Brunei. We started low morale there. Was that because of the tech disadvantage? Yes, that was because of the tech disadvantage. But we should have a sufficient numerical advantage here to, t to knock these guys out of the war. Okay, how much are we going to need for this? This is a 3k. I'm going to shift consolidate and we're going to pull out three units of infantry and one unit of artillery. And we're going to send them down here to siege. Then we're going to take this this month and then we're going to head up and attack Brunei while we've got control of the seas. Is this fleet still over here? They're not. Where did they go? Where did they go? Are they blockading our colonial nation? I have no idea where that big fleet went. That's spooky. Okay, so we need to move quick. Because we don't know where that fleet is or what it's planning. Okay, let's go up in here. And then, of course, Malacca can always attack us down this way. We've only got a 3k stack defending it, so that's a problem. But let's go. Now, this is actually probably a mistake, walking into Brow, realistically. We're not locked in yet. Let's... Oh, we're blocked by Hostile Fort. Okay. Well, this is going to be exciting. We're going to lose a lot of manpower here. How much are we at? We're down about 5k. And there's nothing we can really do about it. The question is, when does Malacca decide to come down this way? Uh, we'll take extra colonists. Actually... Maybe we'll, we should take monetary benefits. It would be a 10% tax increase. That's about 1.8 ducats. I don't feel like that's worthwhile. We'll take more colonists. Okay, where is their fleet? I don't know where their fleet is, but... What I would like to do right now is group these together temporarily. And I want to use this to reinforce at Sambawa. I think this fleet is capable of taking out one of theirs. I hope. Like one of the small Makassar fleets for sure. We'd be able to do that. But we need to get up here, break this blockade, reinforce this. I mean, 8k isn't going to be a lot, but it'll be something. Lombok is now self-sustaining. That's okay. Normally, I would totally go and colonize Wake, except that the Ottomans are already doing it like a bunch of jerks. So I would do Hawaii. 102 days. I don't think that we can get anybody out there. Guam, similarly, I... Well, we might be able to get a unit there. But realistically, I feel like we need to put colonization on hold until this, until this war is done. Okay, where's our fleet at? They're still on their way to Tonga. Or rather, New Zealand. Okay, Tiwi has been converted. That's good. 
Now we should be making a lot more money now, but we're not. We're making less money, which is interesting. Oh, it's because of interest. Look at how much we're spending on interest right now. Yeah, fair enough. That'll do the trick. Anyway, we need to get in here. Our sieges are going reasonably well now, actually. Now, is Makassar a vassal or an ally? They're an ally. We might be able to separate piece them out as, like, our vassal. That would be nice. Mm, let's just take some power. Okay, here comes our fleet. There's their big fleet. It's just kind of not doing anything right now. I'm okay with this. Our sieges are progressing nicely. Our manpower is holding out for now. Like, we are, we can't go over here, right? Actually, we can. What do we need to, to siege this? We need six regiments. Okay, I'm going to shift consolidate this again. And we are going to pull out any of these uh, cavalry regiments and any of these zero strength regiments first. And we'll pull out like that, except we need six regiments. So we'll put in one more unit, actually two more units of infantry like that. Can we go there? We cannot, but we can go to Katai. And that's what we're going to do. Split this up, take less attrition. Where's our fleet? Okay, fleet's on the way. They're breaking their blockade, as well they should. Makassar is out of this war, officially. Now, we don't have a diplomat, <laughs> and we should get one. I'm going to pull back the diplomat from Great Britain for right now. Okay. We'll march in here. They have a 16k. Let's see, that's Malacca. We can win that fight. I'm quite certain of that. But, uh, yeah, Makassar is offering peace. What do they want to give us? Uh, they just want out. No thanks. This is a bit frightening, but they're walking away from us, which is good. Okay. Grouping that up. And we're bringing in this unit here. Oh. Uh, we lost that fight. I didn't even notice. Okay. We'll go ahead and fall back a bit. Because there's a reason we lost that fight. We do need a leader up here. That's mediocre at best. Okay. Our diplomat is still 47 days away. question is, if they come in, do we win this? And the answer is absolutely not. We absolutely do not win this. We need to just keep going and guerrilla warfare that. Okay, Palau is now self-sustaining. That's nice. Okay, Diplomat will be back in 20 days. We just need to survive 20 days for now. Okay. So we can't really take Brunei currently, but we're just going to hide here in the jungle for a little bit. What's the supply limit here? 19? Okay. As we reinforce, that'll become a problem, but for right now it's fine. And we need to sue for peace specifically with only Makassar, negotiating for themselves. Now, we can't make them become our vassal. Which is unfortunate. 71 war score for that. That's a lot. I really thought we'd be able to vassalize them. This is, of course, Makassar landing over here. So we need to deal with that. 
Oh, they have Bhutan as well. I didn't even notice that. They would accept this. They wouldn't accept that. But I also want them to annul their treaty with Malacca. How many more reasons? One more reason? We could get five gold. Annul their treaties with Malacca and take two provinces. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Okay. They're out of this war and we got gains. Let's go ahead and core those. And our corruption is currently growing because of overextension. That's okay. We're working on that. But now we have a bigger problem, and that is Brunei and Malacca. But right now it's time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we'll see if we can figure out what we're going to do about Brunei and Malacca. Subscribe for more, and I will see you all next time.